just uh, seen this offense do a lot of different things the last couple couple of weeks, whether you use you know Ty a lot to run, just sort of really or, or using screens the last game. What's the approach with, with Army and just how proud are you of this offense that they've been able to win and doing different things each week? Well, we've, we've had to be really creative in trying to manufacture yardage and trying to ma manufacture points. You know, the, I'm proud of the way we've played. I think, I think we've played hard. I'm proud of the effort that we've played with. Uh, you know, it's kind of been the story of the first half of the season is missed opportunities. You know, again, you you come out of the ODU game with with easily another two touchdowns that probably should have been scored. And and again, I, I'm not asking us to make the great play. I'm asking us to make the easy one. And uh, you know, we missed opportunities have 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 hurt us offensively. And uh, we got to continue to harp that. And continue when we have our opportunity to make a play. We got to go make a play. But it, it's not because lack of effort. And uh, and it's not because lack of creativity by by us as coaches. Just, I know that a lot has been built into, you know, this team, this offense has an identity now. Like, we know what we want to do. How do you still sort of hold on to that, but you still stay creative? It's like, we know what we want to do, but we know different things that we have to do each week to, to get that edge. Does that make sense? Yeah, well, we, you know, I think our identity is growing every week. You know, I, I'd like to, I'd like to obviously put up a little more yardage and put up some more points, but, uh, you know, you start to your team starts to find an identity, not just offensively. And you know, I think defensively, we're we're pretty good right now. You know, and and we're going to continue to get better on offense, continue to try to try to score points and put up big numbers. But we also got to look at it and say that the goal of playing football is to win the football game, right? And what do we have to do as a team to go win the game? And uh, if that means slowing it down in the second half like we did, and then and running some clock and and keeping their offense off the field and letting us chew up some yardage and chew up some time and at the end of the day, go win the game, then that's what we'll have to do. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do that every game. Uh, I look for us to progress offensively, and I'd like to go put up 30, 35 points a night, and I, I think we can get there. Last week we talked a bit about Gage Walker, and you said basically that it was only a matter of time that he got back on track. Did you see that coming uh, against ODU, or was it something that just as the game progressed, you figured that he was going to continue to play a bigger role as the night went on? Well, you know, we, we as coaches watch a lot of film, and uh, we, we, we played two really good fronts before we went and played ODU. And uh, we knew we were going to have a problem at times with, with those guys, and we knew we were going to have to be creative. And, you know, would we have liked to play better? Absolutely. But, I, you know, I've been around enough to know what we're going to be able to go execute and what we're not. And, uh, you know, I, I knew we were up for big challenges against Louisville and UAB. And, uh, you know, they, they stood up to that, and, and we didn't put up great numbers. But it's like I told you last week, I think, Gage's numbers weren't there, but I still think he was being very productive in a lot of other ways. And, uh, you know, last week it came back to being productive in the run game and, and a little bit in the pass game too. And, you know, I, I think between the coach and the media, we may portray uh, production a little different. Uh, you know, my production is we go out and play well and win, and he executes his plays, whether that's a block, whether that's catching the ball, whether that's running it. You know, when you do those things right, in my mind, that's called productive. And I think he – he put up some more yardage uh, this past week, and we got to run the ball a little better. So, you know, I think his numbers showed up, but we weren't worried one bit about the way Gage Walker had been playing. As far as this Saturday, you're going against a team that likes to control the ball a lot, which on the other side limits the opportunities right. it, it, it can this time. What is the approach this Saturday, knowing that you might have limited drive opportunities considering the opponent that you're yeah, playing? We'll, yeah, we'll for sure have limited possessions. Uh, they're going to run the ball and milk the clock. and. Uh, We'll have to have a great sense of urgency when we do get our opportunities. Um, each possession is going to be vital to, to go down and produce something. Uh, even even if that means we pin it, we're pinning them deep and making them go 90, 95 yards, we we have to go produce offensively. And, uh, you know, obviously we'd, we'd like to score a ton of touchdowns, but there's more to it during the game than, than just that. And uh, we'll we'll have a greater sense of urgency. We'll uh, hopefully be be very productive and take, you know, take our opportunities when we can. Coach, a lot of talk about Army's offense, but their defense is really good too. I think they're ranked in the top 20. What yeah. do you kind of see from their defense and just overall? Well, it's not shocking. It is the, the U.S. Army that they do things the right way. They play hard. They play with great effort. Um, their guys don't make mistakes. Uh, the teams that make plays on them, they're, you know, they're, their guys just made a play. And uh, that's what we'll have to go do. They're in the right spot every time. They're not going to screw it up. And you're, they make you drive the length of the field and they make you go beat them. And, you know, we'll have to be, you know, you can't have penalties, you can't have drive starters. We've got to be great on first down to keep ourselves in front of the chains. Um, you know, yeah, it'll be a big challenge for us again. Uh, they'll, 
you know, we'll have to get, hopefully we'll get some push up front. Um, but they'll they'll be in the right spot and they'll make their plays as well. It seems like the situational football offensively was better uh, against ODU than it was against UAB. What do you got to do to continue that in, in a big match against Oregon? Well, it, it was better. It was better. You know, the quarterback still took a sack when we're on the 15 yard line and we have points. We're in a tight game, which. You know, that, that's kind of a, a cardinal sin of playing quarterback. And then, you know, that's on me. You know, when it happens two weeks in a row, there's, there's a miscommunication there. And uh, we'll get that corrected. Um, but it, it was better. Uh, there were, you know, we had a lot less missed assignments. I think the guys played a lot faster. Um, I think we, we grew some confidence there early on where the guys started saying, all right, we can do this. We can, you know, we, get, we gained some momentum. Football is such a huge game of momentum that I think our guys kind of built some confidence there. and and rode it into the second half. Uh, you know, I wish we'd have hit the pop pass down in the end zone for the easy touchdown, but you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. You miss some of them. Have you sort of assessed the way screens have been used the past couple of weeks? We've been seeing more and more of them, so maybe just a product of the defenses you've been given, but it seems like you're leaning on that a little bit. Well, we, we you know, I think we that's kind of something we've always tried to do in this offense is, you know, we, we want to push the ball down the field. We want to throw it deep and, and take shots as much as we can, but if you do that all the time, you're going to allow the defense to pin their ears back and come after you. Well, you mix in the shots, you mix in the screens. Now that now the D linemen are going, all right, what's coming? What's coming next? So we're always going to try to be creative in how we do that, how we get certain screens. You know, yeah, the defense is going to dictate dictate what formation we do it out of and and which ones we particularly use. But uh, we they were highly productive in the ODU game and obviously helped us late in the UAV game to get garner some big plays. And you know, at the end of the day. Those screens are about getting your playmakers in space to make a play. You know, we a lot of those screens we didn't block them great. It's just you get the ball to JP and, and Lucky and, and Sloan as fast as you can, and they they're going to make a guy miss. And you know that's that's what's scary for the defense that they don't get you on the ground fast. You got an opportunity for a huge play.